Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, I'm Daniel and welcome to another video of our João Almeida Pro Cyclist mode here on PCM and today we have another stage race in Spain, this time we have Volta Ciclista Catalunya so yeah it's going to be another one where it's going to be difficult of course because we're going to have mountain stage as we can see right here, stage number 3 and stage number 4 some big mountains ahead of us so yeah the, the race itself, it has a lot of hill stages as well, so it's going to be a real test for João Maida, who had just been out of a fitness peak as you can see, so we are no longer with the fitness peak and our fitness is not the best right now, we still have an injury, I don't know what it is, angina, angina, I don't know what, it, what this is, but it seems that I am fit to ride as we can see here, and it ends on the end of March. So yeah, nothing too big to concern I believe, but yeah, it, nonetheless it's not our best fitness so far. And yeah, this is the team that we have here, Joe Almeida with Ben Hermans, Honore, James Knox, Peter Serri, Mori something and uh, Luak Vliegen, so yeah, I think we are going to be the leaders, I'm not sure, but it seems that we are going to be, so yeah. Since we are not on the best uh, fitness and not on the best race day condition, I don't know what can we do in this race really because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to be with the best, but of course I'm going to try and uh, since we saw the last episode we might as well collect more jerseys because we are starting to collect a lot of jerseys in this season so why not take some more. And yeah, the first stage is a hilly stage as you can see right here. three climbs that we have, let's just try to pass this with the best and uh, try to finish on a good position. And so guys, first of all let me just tell you to leave a like and a subscribe because of course you know that it means a lot to me just to continue this series and uh, to see if you are liking this series or not and yeah it seems that we have a strange road today, other team is a border so we they want me to take the breakaway for at least 130 kilometers but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because I don't know if uh, they, they, the peloton will let me go because I'm not, although although I'm injured and I, I'm on a minus today but I don't think they will let me go into the breakaway and so guys here we are on the first climb of the day and this stage has been very strange really because we have two guys up front which is good of course but then we have the likes of Steven Cruz bike at the front, which is a bit odd, and uh, throughout the whole stage, uh, Carapaz, Bernal, and Kruzvik as well, they were all attacking, and it was strange to, to see that happening. And yeah, of course, I cannot get away from the peloton, so I'm just staying here with them, and of course, I managed to, they doesn't help at all, because this is a bit tough, these hills, and let's see if we can maintain here with the group. And so guys, we just passed the last climb of the day and it seemed that we created a little breakaway because our attack for the points of the, the KOM jersey and uh, we are with Pogacar and Mattia Cataneo up front. I'm just following Mattia Cataneo wheel but it's getting difficult to get to Pogacar it seems and we have still 14 kilometers to go so yeah, I really don't know, let's try to make an attack see if I can reach uh, Pogacar although yeah the peloton had just caught me so yeah no point of trying and this is a bug maybe I don't know because as you can see we are 139 riders here and it says there is the E2 group and not the peloton so yeah I think this is a bug I don't know why but uh, yeah that is fine I believe we are almost there and yeah Pogacar is in the front right now and so guys, here we are for the last 5 km of the stage, all together, so it's going to be a mass sprint really, I don't know what to do, so yeah, let's see what is going to happen, I don't see any sprinters here, let's try to follow someone's wheel, I don't know, but yeah, the sprint is almost here, I met the wheel of Konesfra, but I'm getting blocked, come on John, to the front, and yeah, it's, it's almost there, let's start the sprint now, see if I can do something, Although I'm not on the best fitness, but João Almeida is going for the sprint, maybe it was too soon. And Garcia Cortina and Dylan Toons from Bahrain McLaren are the winners. Dylan Toons ahead of Cortina and Benoit Conesfra 
on third position and João Maida on a fourth position so in the end a very good result for João Maida at the sprint. And so Dylan Tunes is the winner of this stage, it was a very strange stage really but in the end João Maida on a fourth position behind Benoit Cosnefroy, Ivan Garcia Cortina and Dylan Tunes so yeah not a bad result really I'm happy with that fourth place. And on a general classification we are on 10th place now 10 seconds behind which is perfectly fine and uh, on the other classification we are around the top 5 as well so yeah I'm happy with that of course and uh, let's go to stage number 2 and so this is it, stage number 2 as you can see it's a flat stage but who knows what can happen really because the terrain is a bit hilly so yeah let's see what's going to happen and so guys this time we are a teammate so we need to work in a group for 25 kilometers so let's do that right away and um, we are teammates because Ben Irmans is the leader for the KOM jersey I believe let me just check yep it is Ben Irmans although James Knox is the one that is in the front of this classification I believe so yeah I don't understand why it is Ben Irmans but that is fine and so guys here we are last 11 kilometers of the stage and uh, I really don't know what to do because we have this very short hill as you can see it and it is a downhill and I don't know if I can make some difference here try to make a surprise attack I don't know but it seems that I'm not going to be able to do nothing so let's just try to stay here with a peloton and uh, try to finish on the sprint and so here we are let's 5 kilometers of the stage and again it's going to be at the sprint so yeah let's try to be in a good position this time to see if I can uh, sprint for it although I'm a bit behind right in the middle of everyone else which is not good we still have 2.5 kilometers I'm at the wheel of Cosnefra and I'm just getting blocked so I'm not going to be able to make it it seems but we just launched the sprint can we do it but Ivan Garcia Cortina just ran out of energy and oh my god and it is Cornus Fra oh my god it is Cosno Fra in the end uh, oh my god what they finished this was really at the finish line Benoit Cosno Fra just beat Joao Maida and Alex Arumburu at the finish line really I really thought that we had that stage in our pocket but in the end it wasn't what they finished really I didn't expect that. Let's try to see one more time in slow motion if it is possible or not. As you can see, but yeah, we can see it. And Cosnefra right at the end, he just pulls it out with a great sprint and finishes off really. What a sprint! And guys, what a stage in the end, really. You saw that. I thought that I, I had the wrong wheel of Benoit Cosnefra, but. Uh, because at some point we were very far behind and Ivan Garcia Cortina was very far ahead really I didn't think that we we were catching him but he just got out of energy and then in the end Cosnefra with a great acceleration just to win this stage really and the, a third place for us is very good of course now we are on 7 overall classification Cosnefra is the new leader of the GC on the point we are second behind Cosnefra and on the mountains we are 8 but we have 2 guys from our team on the first position which is good of course and now on the younger white classification we are not the leaders by 1 second once again now it is Georg Zimmermann that is in front so yeah we still don't have any jerseys yet but we still have a lot of stages to do stage number 3 is the first mountain stage so this is going to be a big test really see if Joao Maida can uh, make a good result here and so guys here we are start of the stage and as you can see we have a minus one day and of course with the injury is not that great it's basically a minus two day that we have so yeah it's not going to be easy to to surpass this stage because I mean we are not in the best condition and all of the other favorites are much better than me because let's just take a quick look because I just saw that let me see the, the riders, for example, Egan Berna in a plus one, Carapaz plus one, Kurzweig minus one, but yeah, they are all guys better than me and with a plus day, so yeah, it's going to be very difficult, but we're going to try our best, of course. 
And so guys here we are at the special category climb as you can see it is a big one I'm just here with a bunch of the with the rest of the guys really and I'm just hoping that I can uh, survive really because the rhythm is high and uh, let's see let's see if I can hold on and guys we are on the last four kilometers of the climb the breakaway is being caught every single one is getting dropped from the breakaway the rhythm is very high on the peloton only 96 guys as you can see all of my team are behind and Joao Meda as well Joao Meda is getting out of energy already so I don't know if I will be able to stay here although just few kilometers left let's hope that I can stay here and uh, stay with them for the rest of this climb really because if I stay here it's a very good sign but I'm with very few energy and why not let's try to score some points because we don't have anybody else from our team here and uh, it's, it, it would be a good thing to score points for them so that anybody nobody else can score points and so guys this is it last 12 kilometers of the stage we are entering the final climb of the stage and uh, everyone is together so from here on now we just the GC guys let's see what is going to happen and so everyone is attacking right now Simon Yates, Pogacar, Nibali, David Godou, Egan Bernal everyone is attacking let's try to follow them although it's very difficult of course I don't have the energy to do this and now it is Landa, Rigobert Turin and oh my god already out of energy myself so yeah it's difficult to to follow this rhythm because I don't have the energy and I don't have the fitness for this let's see if this is possible but they are already getting away damn it and come on come on Joao last five kilometers for me and I'm in the little group behind but uh, it's getting difficult and now Carapaz is attacking so I'm just out of that group as well just myself Tohok and Kruzvik and yep it's not getting uh, it's not looking good for me I'm still one and a half kilometers to go I still have a bit of energy but it's not enough so I just need to stay here with these guys let's not try right to put a pace but I'm out of energy already so yeah that's no point of doing that I don't know who is the winner and uh, it is Bernal David Godou ahead of Simon Yates and Egan Bernal and Rigobert Turan so yeah these are the four men in the front Joao Meda out of energy already with the whole Hulk here and now it is Dylan Toons that just passed me and oh my god we just been caught by a big group of 28 guys so yeah it's not good in the end it's not that good really we could be in a top 20 position but, but in the end we didn't got that we are far behind 28 position not the best of course but hey with the, the fitness that we had I'm happy and so guys yeah in the end it was a bad stage for us we just finished on a 28 position 1 minute 41 seconds down so yeah right now we just make we just take a big tumble from the general classification now we are 19th position of course not what we wanted but there is okay we still have the point jersey to fight for we are in second place in that on the mountain jersey we are still in fifth so and now our team has lost the jersey as well so we we might uh, try that who knows and on the younger right classification I think we cannot get that because Tadeo Pogacar and Egan Bernal are the ones ahead of me 1 minute 37 seconds ahead so yeah you see it's difficult so I think our best chance it is the green jersey or the points jersey and the top 20 top 15 of the GC and now for stage number 4 another big mountain stage as you can see by the graphics we have a lot of mountains and the, the final climb it is the, um, a big mountain as well and as you can see we just have a 67 fitness so I mean we are not the best right now really and uh, we are not uh, going to be able to do nothing in this stage I believe as well but of course let's see what's going to happen and so guys in this stage I went into the breakaway right at the beginning of the stage to try to see if I can do something because we have a lot of uh, intermediate sprints for the KOM jerseys and why not try to do something and that's what I here to do of course and it was a big group that formed in the front and on the first KOM sprint I was second place so 
more points to us and we are very close now for the first place that isn't scoring points because he's already out of energy and behind and it's awesome of course and I just continue like this on the second KOM sprint I did the same uh, I sprint for it but once again I don't know why uh, I didn't score the maximum points because I, again I don't understand I sprinted all the way alongside this Bochard from uh, Citroën AG2R but in the end just second place for me but this time we are already on the first position as you can see with two points of advantage so yeah we are starting to get this jersey a lot of points in it and it's looking good for us then on the third uh, KOM sprint uh, I was starting to lose a lot of energy, the yellow energy, so it started to feel a little bit difficult right now with Lutsenko on a very good day and uh, this is when Lutsenko and Kalmajan just went away and myself just got really hard to follow that and uh, I started to get out of energy and uh, in the end uh, I, fight, I fought for it really, I tried everything and uh, just got 4th place on this uh, KOM sprint so yeah not the maximum points but we got some points and we increase our lead on this classification and so for the last KOM sprint I was with the peloton already because I was out of energy and um, I stayed here I tried to regain some energy and there were two people in front Kamejan and Lutsenko and I just try my luck on the last kilometer to see if I can score more points and with all the energy that I had and Kamejan without energy was perfect because I could catch him and in the end I did a second place on this classification as you can see right here and yeah it was awesome because more points to us and now we have a bigger lead on the classification and the, of course the jersey is ours and the, that was what I thought that the jersey was ours in the end Egan Bernal was the winner of the stage of course we did not good because we were out of energy and we just did I believe uh, yes a 30 no a 48 position on the stage seven minutes down so yeah our general classification was over really our possibilities but on the KOM jersey we were the leader with 65 points and the, the second place with 43 points so we had a very good opportunity to keep this jersey because there was a lot of points uh, of difference and uh, there were not a lot of KOM sprints on the next stages so yeah we're looking good to get another jersey at least I, uh, I thought that but in the end I don't know what happened but um, we just uh, got out of the race because the day started to simulate it and uh, then I realized that we withdraw from the race on that stage really and uh, maybe it was because of the injury that's my only explanation I didn't get any message whatsoever I just got out of the race and of course then I was to check out on the, the results of uh, this race and yep I was withdraw from the race so yeah it was very strange but um, it happens it was the first time that this happens to me the first time that we didn't finish a race and we were so close and on a good position to win the KOM jersey and it's all over now so yeah guys I'm going to leave it here for this episode I'm sorry but it happened I cannot do anything and yeah, I hope you like it, don't forget, leave a like and a subscribe, stay safe, bye bye.